Shift the Rail is the first European rail initiative to seek focused research and innovation and market-driven solutions. Shift the Rail promotes the competitiveness of the European rail industry and meets changing European transport needs. To take us one step closer to the modern and more competitive railway, an intelligent video gate, an IVG, has been developed within the programme. The train runs through the gate and the gate can collect data with the help of camera images and optical readers supplemented with information from barcode scanners. By implementing the IVG, automated and digitized real-time information can be created for several operations that today take place manually. The gate can detect wagon numbers and unit numbers, train composition, identification of dangerous goods placards and UN number, as well as detection of wagon damage. This information can then be used in management systems at terminals and data sharing with stakeholders in the multimodal chain. The project Freight Rail 3 within Shift the Rail demonstrates and analyzes functionalities for two intelligent video gates. One in Nuremberg in Germany and one in Gothenburg in Sweden. The one in Germany focuses on identification of damages and the one in Sweden focuses on data sharing between actors. The IVG in Nuremberg is located by the shunting yard. The focus is to train an AI program that can identify wagon damage automatically. This process will enable an improved damage management of wagons and load carriers, as well as a more efficient use of shunting yard as the damaged wagon is automatically identified by the IVG. Another IVG was built during 2021, here between Gothenburg Port and Quille Railway Yard. I'm sitting here with uh, Jan Bergstam, senior strategist at uh, Trafikverket, the Swedish uh, Transport Administration. Uh, so Jan, why is it important to try new technologies from shift to rail in Sweden? Yeah, the main reason is of course that uh, traffic uh, and with partners spending a lot of efforts and money as a founding member in shift to rail So in the light of that investment and uh, to build up competence further here in exchange with our European partners, it's important to have a window towards the Scandinavian market as well. And of course we have sometimes also special conditions uh, uh, with regards to weather. We have sometimes at least, even in Gothenburg, winter. And that's uh, important to test the technology also in such conditions. So that's a couple of reasons for why we are active. Uh, we have also a good support i think from from the governmental side to do demonstrations etc sweden want to take a position in being a demo arena for for new technologies so that goes also very well in line with that objective the test with the ivg here in gothenburg will focus on intermodal freight transport between the railway and the port to enable useful functionalities, the interface has been developed to analyze the information received from the gate. Automated and digitized processes in the intermodal freight transport contribute to increased utility and quality. For example, by improving management of deviations, increasing quality of information and information security, optimizing transshipment, contributing to more precise times of departure, increasing the operational efficiency, and enabling information sharing between concerned actors. How do you at the Swedish Transport Administration see the possibilities with the IVG? Yes, the IVG, Intelligent Video Gate, is a great innovation uh, thanks to a number of things, mainly because it's affordable, but also very suitable in corridors and in terminals and uh, when you cross borders. So uh, it's, it's uh, a great value for a relatively limited money and investment. It can also give very good, and this is the main point with innovation, uh, possibilities for good planning. We capture data, the wagon and the unit. And uh, we can also detect wear and tear but the main and that's that's 
quite common, but the, the positive thing is also that we can detect identification numbers, both on units and wagons. And we can also detect, as we use optics and RFID in combination, we can detect also placards, like dangerous cargo placards, that is not always placed at the same spots. So uh, it gives openings for very good terminal planning. Uh, that's, that's the main reasons for, for, for why this is so interesting. I'm standing here with Marlin Collin, Deputy CEO of Gothenburg Port. An important part with the tests in Gothenburg is to analyze how the information exchange can be improved uh, with the help of the IVG. Why do you think it's important to be a part of this initiative? Um, we as a port uh, would like to have a broad cooperation with parties that like to share data and invest in digitalization. We think it's a good initiative where we can have a mutual um, collaboration with the data and improve and uh, use uh, modern technique to help the port to be more efficient. In what ways can the IVG create better conditions for the work in uh, the Gothenburg port and vice versa? We can get uh, better predictability and more reliability and early data will increase the possibility to plan and customize the planning for our partners and um, we think that we'll be able to increase uh, work environment and uh, reduce emissions and get more efficient and in the ending we, we will have a more sustainable smart port. By building an intelligent video gate here in Gothenburg we can gather experience that can lead to greater development with more gates and increased data sharing between stakeholders. Uh, what do you think about the further development with the other ongoing technologies within Shifter Rail? Intelligent video gate is a part of itself but also in a larger scale and systematic approach. And uh, first of all it's, it's suitable to, uh, as mentioned, implementing corridors. So we have started a dialogue with Scanman and other European corridors. Uh, that's, that's one arena for further development. But also further functions is related much to uh, digital automated coupler, which is also demonstrated here in Sweden and, and in Europe. And that belongs to the automation of railway system. And with a camera, optics and RFID, you can, for instance, support uh, automated train operation with inspections uh, and startup processes for train, which is today very manual and, and time consuming. Now it will be interesting to follow and see the development of the IVG together with the other shifter rail technologies. And we look forward to the successor of Shifter Rail, Europe's Rail. <laughs>